There was a surprise update during Wednesday's transit commission meeting into that fatal crash between an OC transport double-decker bus and via train last month. The Transportation Safety Board continues to investigate, but City Manager Ken Kirkpatrick said that the city is going to make some immediate changes in the area of that crossing, and that's based on some observations the TSB made during a closed meeting last Friday. Here's Kirkpatrick to explain some of those changes. Removal and trimming of some vegetation in the crossing transitway area. Uh, the second one is the installation of an early warning signal. Uh, the third issue uh, is the reduction of speed. Currently the speed, posted speed is 60 kilometers an hour uh, from the transitway station to that crossing and we are going to be reducing that speed to 50 kilometers an hour. The final area is um, with regards to signage. Uh, we're going to be uh, making some changes in the signage, some of it relating to the change in the speed limits, uh, as well as other things that will improve the safety of that crossing. Now, I did talk to Craig Watson, the president of the Bus Drivers Union. He is very optimistic about these changes, especially that advanced light system. He says it'll give drivers enough warning to get ready to apply the brakes. For Sun Media, I'm John Willing.